Why do marriages fail? Why does problem arise in love? As such as you are, love and hate stays together. The person whom you love, you hate that person too. There is a reason and this is the reason that we say that you fall in love. When love has hate behind the scene, behind the surface, it is not a real love. When you love someone, as we normally say that we fall in love, you are not aware of your center. You have not discovered the center of your being. Your life is moving on the surface periphery. The world, the emotions, the feelings. You have no experience of that which is wordless. The energy that is there behind, the consciousness that is the root of every word, every emotion. The other becomes the center of your attraction. Your life revolves around the other. Then you have not discovered your center as yet. So sooner or later the problem is bound to arise because how long can the other remain the center of your life? Once a source, the other that was the source of love becomes the center of hate as well. And this happens unless and until you have discovered your own center. The moment you have discovered your own center, then your life moves out of your center, your consciousness, not out of the surface, not out of the circumference. And when you have reached to your center, then you have experienced the love in the real sense. And when you have experienced the love, then there can be no problem. Then the hate will disappear. The real love evolves out of your center. It is beyond all dualities. Then it is no more love that you know. Then it is not like falling in love as you normally call. With the discovery, with the crystallization, with the harmony within, you attain to the state when love has started blossoming in you. Its fragrance, its beauty will spread in many forms as words, as emotions, as feelings. Then it is not conditioned by the bodily or emotional needs. This is called love beyond. Such love is the fragrance of your being. Those who love and hate, they have not yet discovered their center. And when you are attracted towards the other, it is like you have not discovered your center and you are, you have no experience within the experience of harmony, bliss, and then the other becomes the center of bliss and harmony for some time. Love in such person has not yet transcended beyond biology and emotions. This creates problem. And this happens when the existential bioenergy continues to move downwards and it has not yet found the upward trend. The upward trend of the movement of this existential bioenergy which we know as sex at the lowest rung has not begun the upward trend. The energy is like frozen. It has to become fluid-like first. So along with the other or while you are interacting with the other at various levels, 
then if you discover your own center then the energy that was flowing outward begins to move upward also then you are going beyond in that is when it has not yet happened love becomes very difficult for you and it becomes very difficult for you to love others there always remains tensions in that case you only love if you have developed love towards someone who has discovered in whom the, the center is operating in whom the consciousness is manifesting through the words it can happen with a master it can happen with mother and this will give you a fulfillment of freshness as well this happens because you have not yet discovered your center so the freshness comes for a while and then everything becomes still at times this creates frustration when you realize that the other is still remains the center of your love and bliss and happiness and all that is there whosoever it may be but in reality the other must not be the center of your being sometimes it happens you are following a master following someone and simultaneously there is no effort for your center to blossom then it happens for some time there remains freshness because the master the other center the other person who has discovered his own center becomes your attraction it can if your effort continues it can become the source for you to discover your own center otherwise after some time it happens that people become against the particular master they start finding the faults in him in one way or the other and then once you are following a person then you start finding the faults and you move to someone else and this is the reason that people keep on changing the masters as well at times this can become a source of frustration when you realize that the other is still remains the center of your love and bliss whoever it may be but it in reality the other must not be the center you have to discover find ways and means to reach to your center and when your center is developed then love really blossoms in you and if you really feel intimate with anyone then remember this the other must not be the center your own life your own blissfulness should be the way however the other can become the stepping stone for you to discover yourself this is why sex the family relation you are operating at a level which is intimate and if it is approached correctly meditatively the other can help you to discover your own self but the other is as ignorant as you are so the other cannot help you this is the reason in marriage people do not evolve they remain stuck after some time because both partners depend on the other and then when they are not able to discover they start finding the faults in the other it begins with great expectation that with the marriage in reality one will discover one's center 
but the energy continues to flow outward and the center can only be discovered first when the energy becomes fluid like it is no more frozen and then it begins to evaporate its direction is changed it begins to move upward then the center can be opened the moment the other can become the stepping stone for you if you are aware if the two partners are aware of this phenomenon they can enter into the sex or biological relation as a stepping stone to go beyond the duality of love and hate beyond the duality of finite and infinite only then they reach to the ultimate but in case of master it is totally different when master interacts with you he interacts only for you to discover your center the moment your love is not centered on the master so in that case when you are interacting with the master your love is not centered on the master mother or anyone else you will discover your center and this will make you feel happy if you consider that the company of the master is refresh your effort should be to discover your center as the moment your love is not centered on the master mother or anyone else you will discover your center whenever your love is centered on anyone including master that will only create props you will love the master or the husband or wife but you will certainly find something that you do not like or hate or you may find someone else to you you may not hate that same person but then the love is not discovered love has not blossomed this association this communion this company this relationship has not helped you to discover your center then the hate remains it does not matter on whom it falls you may hate something else you may hate someone else but that remains it is natural and th this is what that happens if you love your master you will begin to hate and or condemn the other masters other gurus if you love ram then krishna and all other forms of god will become an enemy to you this is what has happened in the shaivites and vaishnavites the followers of shaivites they are antagonistic to vaishnavites they have not yet discovered the center within and unless and until you develop, you discover the center within you will not be able to discover the cosmic center and unless you are connected to the cosmic center the hate the antagonism will remain you will be shy you will love one master but you will dislike any other master and they are saying for one reason or the other you have not yet discovered the center that god permeates through everything sentient and insentient he is the center of the entire cosmos so first you have to discover the center within that is your soul your being and then you are connected to the cosmic center that is the center outside the god parmatma or whatever you may call it if you love jesus 
then there is no way for you to love Muhammad, the Holy Prophet. You have to create an enemy in any situation unless you are centered yourself. If you love someone and even if the, pers the person be the master, you feel freshness of fulfillment, then too deep down the other side will be there. Any moment it can erupt and become destructive. You must be fulfilled within yourself first. That is the first criteria. Your own existence is enough for you. Yesterday someone told me that he is getting divine visions. He is getting divine visions and as if his inner vision is open. So he wants to talk to me. He, wa he, is feel he feels like sharing it with someone. I told him if inner center has developed, then there is no need for you to talk to anyone. I do not need to talk to any master. Even when I was growing, there was no need for me to ask any question with my uncle or anyone. It is like a state of intoxication and when that comes you don't feel like anything. Whatsoever is, is there. And he said that there he wants to discuss with me. I said what is there to discuss once you have your inner vision is open, you have experienced the soul, then there isn't anything else. You are blissful unto yourself and when the flower blossoms its beauty and fragrance must spread. The beauty and the fragrance will not spread if the flower is artificial. If your what you are saying is your is artificial, is your fake, is mental, then it will not happen. You must be fulfilled within yourself first because only then frustration will disappear. Only then the other pole will disappear. You will feel many things but they will be something separate from you. The center will remain. If you can be with yourself totally, then even if the master is not around or alive, or you cannot find him or forget him completely, the fulfillment and the freshness will remain. Because now you have discovered your center and not only that you are connected to the cosmic center also, then you are connected to the formless. Then you do not feel or do not say that had Buddha been alive, I would have loved, I would have certainly gone in his company. The same thing applies to your day-to-day -day life. If you have discovered your center and you are conscious about it, conscious of it, then you can help the other in discovering the center only if the other is open as well. It may happen that the other has closed all the doors. But in any case you need not get attached. There is no need to think in terms of love because the very term as we know it is bound up with its opposites. It seems difficult to understand. If you love me, it seems inconceivable that you could hate, but it is a common phenomenon. When someone is dreaming, he cannot know what he sees in the dream is just a dream. To him the dream remains a reality. He cannot conceive of how it could be unreal. The same thing happens when you 
when someone is in love he cannot conceive of how could hate he could hate his loved one because he is in a dream but then when he begins to hate the other he cannot conceive of how he could have loved that person once this is the cause of this is where all the relationships end up with those who love once begin to hate because all along they had been in dreams and when you are in dream you cannot expect you cannot understand that there can be hate as well and when the hate erupts then it becomes very difficult for you to recognize the fact how could you fall in love with this person how in the first place what made you to love this person and then you realize that you made a mistake in getting into relationship with this person this person was not worth but those who love and then hate are not real lovers they have not discovered the inner center but the mind goes on finding reasons if you love someone and you cannot conceive of how you could hate him or her then mind says that this is real love or this is part of love this is natural that you love some person someone so it is quite natural for you to find the faults in the person then when you begin to hate the same person the mind says although you were a real lover but the other was not worth you cannot discover you cannot see any problem with you instead you will say the problem was with the other the other was not worthy of your love you were really a honest person and this is what happens in all the relationship when the man or the woman has not discovered the his center of being through that relationship so he tries to move to someone else thinking that by moving to the another moving to another person he will discover so then the concept of morality comes in that i had been honest one says it is only the other who had betrayed the word morality and betray comes then when you begin to hate the same person the mind says although you were real your love was real you were honest the other was not worth loving and that's why he has betrayed you but in reality the reason is this your company has not been able to help him your relationship has not been able to help him to discover his own center the purpose of each relationship each marriage is to help for you for the two partners to help one another to discover their centers and if it is not possible then hate is bound to happen and your ego will not accept that you were at fault you have not helped the other to discover the center and this is why the you will say that the other person was not worth you were honest you were spiritual you were very good person but the other betrayed first you find the cause and rationalization of your love and then you find the same for your hate i have seen this not only with one person but with many people all around sometimes it happens that someone loves one deeply and then he begins to hate the same person and when someone loves deeply 
he can only hate deeply because there is no other way the deeper the love is in the same proportion your hate will be you cannot see the light to see the face of the person you say that i cannot stand this person anymore one who was the center of your attraction once becomes the center of hate because your center is not blossomed as yet when you love someone he could not conceive that hate was possible and now when you hate the person you cannot conceive how love could ever be possible it is easy to move from love to hate very easily and in all relationship this happens center is not discovered and it is very easy for you to move from love to hate love becomes hate antagonism becomes devi however it is very difficult to reverse the process by moving from hate to love you cannot reverse the process then there is no way for you to move the other however it is very difficult to reverse the process by moving from hate to love love to hate is very easy because love to hate means the downward move the energy is flowing downward from a lower from a higher altitude to the lower the water is which is like water flowing when you say moving from hate to love is difficult i mean because now you have to go up a stream against the stream the energy begins has to begin to move up and this is very difficult it requires a lot of efforts on your part so that the energy can begin to move if the water is fluid like it will flow downwards the moment there is sun rising and sun is very high the it is hot then water begins to evaporate and the moment water begins to evaporate it movement upward movement begins the moment ice melts the water is obtained and a stove is lit under it then vapors begin to form and they starts disappearing in the cosmos this is what is required for hate to become love so the person whom you loved and now you are hating it is very difficult to love that person again this is why you cannot go into the same relationship again so you move to the other relationship and you try somewhere else to reach to the again to discover the journey there are many reasons for it you can move from love to hate however you cannot move from hate to love it requires tremendous understanding and effort on your part and remember you are not aware of it you cannot and you cannot begin the journey with hate you cannot begin the journey of your love with hate so one has to begin with love first love is the beginning and hate is the end love is necessary in order for you to hate when your love begins and it has not helped you to discover your center then hate begins but you cannot hate directly without love having been there without love hate is impossible when love fails it begins but then it is very difficult to put the broken mirror 
back into shape again. When love has not blossomed, it gives birth to hate. Hate begins to manifest. The mirror is broke. You cannot put it back. You can love again, but hate which has preceded the renewed love casts a shadow on it. Then your journey of failure begins. You go to someone else because you have entered into another relationship because of your hate for this first person. Then what happens? Love is preceded with hate. You can love again, but the hate which has preceded the renewed love casts a shadow. Something of the hate remains. Part of it is carried over. The old fantasies, the old fantasy of total love cannot be revived again. The way you have loved the first person, you cannot love the second the same way unless you are unconscious or there are other reasons for it, other motives for it. If you love one, then you will feel when I say this. There is no need to feel hurt. If you want to move towards self-realization, towards the discovery of your own center or trying to find a way towards the ultimate truth, then there will be many times when whatever I say will hurt you, when I will have to fight against your fallacies, when I say something which you may not like, as it happened once with one of you, I said something person did not like. This is here I am hitting against the fallacies that could become the source of hate towards me. I know that your love can become hate any moment. And just as love has freshness, hate has its own freshness and aliveness as well. However, beyond love there is something that is called compassion. That you can come that can come to you. It can come to you only if you have attained to your inner flowering. And now when the inner flowering is there, you are at the center. You are at the center and no one else. And then the hate disappears totally. Then the hate disappears totally. Then as if it has never existed. Indeed, the Master's compassion will be meaningful it, if it can help you to attain to your inner flower. And with that inner flowering, the hate disappears completely. And at times, the compassion of the Master may hurt you some, as a, has happened in case of some. While driving together, I said something the person did not like. These are the situations that the Master creates to remove the fallacies in you. But they, those are needed. Certainly anyone who is centered or someone else, irrespective of who the person may be, frustration will remain the ultimate end. Anyone who is centered on someone else, as long as the other remains the center of your love, center of your, cent it does not matter who the person may be, frustration remains the ultimate end. Become free of others. 
that is why master creates situation when you come near him and the upanishad says come and sit close to me then it happens the, the purpose of this allowing you to be intimate to come close is that you can become yourself what has happened to the master also begins to happen to you you begin to pulsate with your inner self. if i can help you to attain to your center where there is no love and no hate that is neutral only then you will be able to have an altogether different way of relating with others then you are operating through your self then it does not matter whether it is your love relationship your relationship with this spouse your relationship with your assistant your relationship with your superiors with your boss or with anyone that you come across you know how to relate out of your center then you are relating out of your self then the quality of that relationship will not be of this world instead it will be both beyond love and hate then you will feel you will not feel me as the other you know the scriptural injunction isha vasimidam sarvam yat kinch jagatyanj he is the center of the entire cosmos and you are connected to that center then you are beyond dual beyond mind you will feel me as yourself you will feel your spouse as yourself and then it is not only me instead you will feel the whole world the whole universe as yours when one is centered in oneself one becomes one with the whole universe you have discovered the cosmic center within when you breathe in your breath comes one moment ago one moment before it was not within it was outside now it has come in and it has reached to your center and with that hammering a center within is created and when the breath goes out again this is exhaling then it merges with the entire cosmos if you are aware of these two centers then what happens you, there is a bridge between your center and the cosmic center this is the second stage first you discover your center then your breath your awareness your consciousness becomes the bridge between your center and the cosmic center when one is centered in oneself one becomes one with the whole isha vasim idam sarvam the that which is permeates through the entire cosmos this i may never ever forget even for a moment nanak puts it in a different word sabna jiya ka ek data so mai visar na jai he is the master of the entire creation this i may never ever forget even for a moment this is what the expression of the assertion of isha mission is but if you are centered in the other then you will be in trouble then you will be in trouble that is a natural consequence and the natural law never allows any ex- exception it is absolutely merciless it is absolutely merciless discover your center within first then you will be able to discover the center outside life will begin to move in a totally different way life will begin to move in a totally different way beyond 
the dualities of life and death, love and hate, male and female. There is totally different way of living. Only Thank you.